Hey, I'm Matt Pat, and for the last five years, I've been mixing science and video games, asking what happens when you bring games into the real world. But now I'm getting to actually do that for the first time ever. Will real gamers be able to handle the real life situations from their favorite games? <laughs> Welcome to Game Lab. So Game Lab really at its core is testing video game mechanics in real life. Everything's cool, did not completely remove the faceplate. It's testing gamers who play through these situations to see, do those skills translate into real life? And it's also testing the games. You know, are the mechanics of this game, defusing a bomb, uh, performing parkour maneuvers, stealthing into a military base, how true to life are those moments? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. This was, I, I feel like this was a good moment for me. You see in video games all the time these kind of absurd, funny mechanics, and you're like, no way is this possible in real life. And what I've really been surprised by throughout the process of making Game Lab is, yes, a lot of those things actually do exist in the real world and are even more absurd than you first expected. <laughs> that was simultaneously the coolest and most terrifying thing I have ever done in my life. I'll be the first to admit that when it comes to more large-scale productions, I've always been the person who's been skeptical about, like, why do you need so many people? Why does it cost so much money to do these things? And, and honestly, that's the way that I felt going into this. That being said, now having gone through the process, seen it worked with so many talented people, I understand now. And, and I hope that part of the behind the scenes of this show will help educate YouTube viewers about why this has to be on YouTube Red and why it did cost so much to make because we were working with a team of 50 people spanning the whole spectrum of different expertise that you can have in entertainment. One, two, three, on guard! Without even looking at you, I can tell that it's terrible. Let's try it again. <laughs> Without every single person on that crew, there's no way that this show could have happened. We're doing BTS because it is the best. We filmed it in four weeks, but when you look at what we were able to accomplish in that amount of time, eight different locations, vastly different games, <laughs> oh, vastly different experiences, to literally renting out a castle in Napa Valley and sieging it with a team of 30 Vikings and knights, it's mind-blowing. None of that would have been possible without every single person on that crew, and everyone who participated had a really good time. I'm so excited to share it with people. That's just a lab, a game lab. Thanks for watching.